Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. Today's first reading from the first letter of John picks up just after yesterday's first reading. Yesterday we talked about the importance of discernment, and today our message is about the importance of love. Now these two ideas are quite intimately related, and that's why they appear together in 1 John. Part of our discernment is the recognition of love. Why? Because love is of God. In fact, we are told God is love. So, when we're trying to discern truth, what we need to be looking for is that which most promotes love. That which reflects Christ. The love that Christ shows us. And Christ shows us that love is self-giving and self-sacrificing. Now, there's much profundity to this idea of God as love. But one important aspect of this insight is that knowing this about God, who is truth in itself, helps us to find truth in the world. Rather than measuring truth by our own thoughts and feelings, truth is ultimately measured by God. And knowing God helps us to recognize him where we encounter him. Yet, as today's first reading reminds us, we can't even begin to know God if we do not know love. Now, this might seem cyclical, but the fact of the matter is that opening ourselves up to a disposition of love is opening ourselves up to God. And opening ourselves up to God helps us to love more. And to recognize truth that's embodied in love. 